is yeah, they wouldn't tape you on that cruise. Well, the, so it's basically four hundred dollars an hour to rig a movie camera up to a helicopter at the time. Yeah. Yeah. At that time. Yeah. These days, you just get a drone with a little GoPro. Yeah. Or a drone that just has a camera built in. I have a drone in my house, which I don't do much with, because again, more money than sense. I was like, I would like a drone. Look, there's a drone I could get. So I got the drone. And then the first time I flew the drone, it got stuck in a tree. And I was like, well, that's, uh, that's the story of my life. And then I had to go get an air mattress. Oh, well, hi, everybody. I was, I, I was, I know this is, this is not going to be a surprise to you, uh, but mid, late last year, I bought a drone for myself to have at my house for all my around the home drone needs, uh, which it turns out there aren't many of. Um, and so after I got the drone, I charged it up and I was like, I'm going to take the drone out and I'm going to play with my drone because I'm an adult and I can do that without being creepy. And then I stood in my driveway with my drone and I made it like go up 10 feet and I made it go down 10 feet and then go one way 10 feet and then the other way 10 feet. And I was like, well, now let's, now I understand how drones work. Let me do some of the exciting stuff you can do with a drone. So I started to fly the drone around, like looking at the roofs of the townhouses in my complex. And that was underwhelming uh, as it turned out. Because all I was doing was standing in my driveway, staring at a thing in the air, and occasionally looking at my iPhone screen. And I'd be like, oh, look, I can see the roof from the camera on the drone. And then I was like, well, that's fun. I'm going to push the return to home button. And I pushed the return to home button. And what I did not understand with the return to home button is the way it works is it, it tries to go low and then come back to where you were. And so as it came down, it went straight into a tree. And then I was like, oh, this, this is Charlie Brown territory. I've had a drone for eight minutes, and it's stuck 30 feet up in a tree. Uh, and then I'm like, wait, I'm an, I'm an engineer. I can fix this. So I went into my house, and I got my air mattress. And I took my air mattress out to the parking space under where the drone was, and I inflated it as you do, and then I got my very long stick, and then I whacked the drone with a stick, and then it plummeted and fell onto the air mattress and bounced a couple times, and then I went and picked the drone up and took it inside, hoping no one noticed, and then I deflated the air mattress and I took that inside, and I haven't played with the drone since, because mission accomplished. I, I own a drone. If I need to do drone things, I suppose I could do them as long as there weren't trees there. I think tree avoidance, I think, is a very important aspect for a drone. So get to work on that, people. I mean, it knew it. It's got a camera. It knew it was heading for a tree, is what I'm saying. Um, anyway, welcome to February. Um, uh, you can tell I'm kind of, I'm a little loopy because I've not been sleeping quite enough. Uh, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, it's, it's not that I'm not able to sleep, but I just don't sleep. Like I go to bed at like midnight or one because I'm a, a hacker and that's when we go to bed. But now lately, like seven o'clock in the morning, my brain will decide, well, you should be awake now. And then I'm awake and then I'm like, hey brain, I'm in charge here. I should be sleeping until like 8.45. And then my brain's like, no. And I'm like, Please, I'm the adult in the room. You're not even a thing. I'm apparently talking to myself while laying in bed. And then the brain's like, but what about, and it'll think of something. And I'll be like, I can take care of that later. And then it's like, well, good, because what about this other thing? And then I'm like, yes, also later. And it's like, I can keep this up all morning. And then it does. And then after like half an hour, I'll like get up and I'll go downstairs. I'll be like, fine brain. Look, now we're downstairs. We have slippers and coffee and breakfast. Are you happy? And then the brain's like, you should really get more sleep, you know. Like, <sighs> anyway, so I'm, I'm a little loopy on the not enough sleep for a while. Um, and hang, stay there, stay there. This is a first ever 
see, I, I dropped my first page of notes, and I had to go rescue them. Um, uh, as you know, before the show, uh, I wrote my notes with a Sharpie. Um, I don't know why I write them with a Sharpie. I also don't know why I fold the paper in half and write on it that way, but I do, always have, probably always will. Um, but this, oh, and, and this week, uh, I forgot my Sharpie, so they're written with just a regular pen, a regular gel pen, so they're not quite as thin. But look, look at this very first page, see? That one's written with a Sharpie. You're like, ha ha, did you lose the Sharpie after you wrote the first page? No, no, as it turns out, this was from last month in, in the things I talked about. Uh, and I was going through the, the little pile of papers we have in the box, and I noticed that, that last month, see this second topic, see? It's like also a topic here. Look, it's also a topic there. I mean, you can't read any of this, but trust me, I was going to get to what was last month's topic again. Uh, and specifically the topic from last month, which I briefly mentioned, I'll mention again, is, as you know, California made it legal for people to, to buy weed like a year ago. Um, and so we, we have occasionally tried the weed stuff because uh, we're, we're adults and we do that kind of thing. Uh, and we were in our little place where we buy weed and off on the side, they had a little place where they were selling tiny weed plants in little cups. They were like, hey, you could buy your own weed plant and take it home and talk to it and be friendly. And I was like, man, are those cute. We should buy one of those. And the other was like, no, we kill plants. Have you, have you not noticed that we have no plants in our house and never have? I'm like, but we, it would be cute. We'd remember to water it. And she's like, I don't think we would. Uh, and then I convinced her that we should buy a weed plant. Uh, and we did that in December. We brought it home, and then it died. Uh, it just totally died. We don't know why it died. Uh, I, we have our suspicions. We think we watered it too much or not enough, or maybe it didn't get enough light. There are all these possibilities of why the weed plant died, but it did, uh, and so we thought long and hard, uh, are we morally responsible for murdering a plant? Uh, a plant which everyone calls weed, which makes me assume it should not be hard to grow. Like my, as a child, I recall the lawn, it was hard to keep the lawn looking good because it would get covered with dandelions, which were weeds. It was not hard for the dandelions to grow. They were weeds, that's what they did. They just grew whether you wanted them to or not. Whereas grass, grass apparently requires effort and fertilizer and mowing and thatching and lots of things that I had to participate in unwillingly as a teenager. Um, but I, I have always assumed any plant which, which has the word weed in it would just know how to do its thing on its own. Uh, and so we, we killed our weed plant in December and then we felt bad. Uh, and then in January, we're like, well, this time we'll do it right. So we bought another one, uh, which uh, I don't want to give it away, uh, but it's dying in my house. Like for the first three or four days, it was fine. It looked perky. It looked happy. Uh, we watered it a little, not too much. A little light, so it had some light. Um, last couple days, it's just been getting wiltier and wiltier, and it's maybe they're selling us bum plants. I mean, that's, maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they look at their vast greenhouse and they have some computer thing which can like say, well, that, that plant's not gonna make it past seven weeks. Let's take it out front. Let's prop it up a little stilt like the Christmas tree in that Charlie Brown special. <laughs> um, and we'll sell it to some idiot uh, that will take it to his house and murder it far away from here so that we don't have to, I am pretty sure that's the, I mean, it's, it's not just in our house. Like our backyard, we, I've never managed to get anything to grow successfully for a long time in my backyard. Like I bought a fern. Ferns have been around for like hundreds of billions of years, I think. I mean, they were dinosaurs and ferns. Ferns should know how to grow. Put a fern in my backyard, and like a year later, I had a dead fern. Um, I have this weird plant growing in my backyard. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure I planted it. So I think it might not know it's supposed to die. Uh, but eventually it'll figure it out. Uh, and I have a redwood. 
The reason nothing grows in my backyard is I have a 70 foot redwood there in a tiny backyard, which last, last month I talked about raking, where I had spent the better part of an afternoon raking all of the redwood needles and detritus into a pile that was like six feet high by about 10 feet and eight feet. And I was trying to figure, what do you do with a pile of redwood needles that large when your trash can is tiny? And the next time the city will let you put stuff out of the curb is like seven months away when I'm not even in town. Uh, after that, um, it occurred to me it was about time to have the redwood tree trimmed. So I called a guy and paid them a lot of money. And they came out and they like, they, they cut a lot of the tree away. It looks like most of the tree is gone. Uh, from having done this in the past, the tree is going to be fine. It's going to grow back with a vengeance. Uh, but since they cut all the staff down, they just took it all away. They like didn't ask me, hey, would you like us to take that huge pile of dead stuff on the ground away too? They just did it. It was delightful. Saved me a lot of time. So that, that's really follow up from last month with a Sharpie. This month's things. Uh, topic one, fingernails. Um, I mentioned a couple months ago. I mentioned many times. Uh, now I'm 51 years old. Uh, I'm told that when I was like four years old, I was biting and picking at my fingernails. So it's been a long time I've been doing this. And occasionally I try to stop, and it works for a while, and then it stops working, and I don't know why. And like I had a doctor put me on some crazy drug for a while. He's like, well, I don't think this is going to work, but might. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. What are the side effects? He's like, I'll give you a piece of paper. There are some of them. Some of them sound really scary. They're probably not going to happen. I'm like, you think it'll work? He's like, no, I don't think it'll work, but we'll give it a shot. It didn't work. Um, I paid a guy to hypnotize me. Didn't work. Um, worked for a little while. And then, like, there was one day I was like, why would that work? Why? Just some guy talked to me and said something about beaches and plants. And then he said, don't bite your fingernails. And I was like, I'm going to bite my fingernails. And I did. Went back to it. I, I'm still working on it. Um, you can't see them, but like my fingernails are probably longer than they've been in 30 years, and they're not long, is what I'm saying. So I'm working on it. You, it's occurred to me what I need is I need shame. So my vast viewing audience, every once in a while, when you're sitting on your phone, you got to send me a message like, hey, Keith, you better not be biting your fingernails or I will mock you the next time I see you. Okay, just everyone write that down, and then we'll see if that works. We're giving it a shot. Uh, if it does work, uh, I'm going to patent it, and I'm going to try and find a way to make a diet around it, because then I'll be a billionaire, like that Suzanne Summers with the leg thing. And uh, uh, on, on the same, on a related topic, uh, as you know, I've been trying to exercise a lot, because uh, I have a job where I don't exercise a lot, and it shows. And so I've been, I've been trying to jog. Uh, and again, I jog because you can do it by yourself. And you aren't going to enjoy it. So perfect. And when you're done, you're happy that you're done. Um, so I've been trying to jog. But I haven't been jogging lately because uh, it's cold outside. And I haven't been biking because uh, it's cold and wet outside. So while you're pestering about the fingernails, every once in a while you should also mention, hey, Keith, uh, you, you need to jog more. Uh, so both of those things. <sighs> uh, for me, here's, here's, here's the fun thing that's coming up for me, uh, which is another reason I'm kind of a little crazy. Uh, we, we're leaving on our annual nerd cruise uh, two weeks from today. Uh, we're, we're heading down to San Diego, and then we get in a boat a couple days after that with all of our nerd friends. And then we, we nerd out at sea for a week. And then we get back to land. And then we're sad for a couple days. And then we're forced to return to our actually reasonably enjoyable lives and get on with it before we go again a year from now. Uh, so for me, there's all this crazy planning and packing and, and getting ready and making things and making lists. And uh, for a while, I was got to find someone to watch my cat. Don't have to find that again. Now I 
then I was like, well, I have to have someone come in and check the plant once or twice. Again, not a problem. Uh, my house, apparently, you know, who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll actually get someone to stay there, so don't break in, is what I'm saying. <sighs> anyway, so we're getting ready to leave for this. Um, now, fun, fun new thing for us this time, uh, they're leaving out of San Diego. Last year, they also left out of San Diego, and we, we drove down to San Diego because we wanted to do a bunch of sightseeing along the way. Uh, that was okay, uh, but turns out I hate driving. And I knew I hated driving, but I did it anyway because I had to get there. I didn't feel like flying. This year, we're going to take Amtrak from here to San Diego because a bunch of other people we know are also taking Amtrak. So we're going to get on the party train uh, with our bottle of scotch or whiskey or whatever. Might be rum for me. Maybe I'll take rum. I don't know. We'll get on the party train, and then someone else will drive uh, along a very exclusive single lane, guy up front with a hat, uh, and we'll just be in the back sitting there, enjoying life, uh, and then like 14 hours later, we'll be in San Diego, and then we'll check into the hotel, uh, and then I'll wake up at 7 a.m. for God knows what reason, um, and, then, and then we'll do stuff. Uh, we'll get on the boat. Now before then, I have a bunch of things I have to do. Uh, like I mentioned, I have to pack, I have to do laundry, I have to go in the attic and find a bunch of crap that I probably put in the attic a year ago when we got back, because that's what I do. Um, uh, but since we know a lot of people on the boat, because we've been going for a while, and now they're friends of ours, uh, we, we make like little tchotchkes to give out so that people will love us, um, or at least they'll pretend to love us so that we'll give them a thing. Um, ordinarily, uh, I, would be, I would have multiple blocks booked at Tech Shop like last week and this week and next week, so I get all this stuff made. Except tech shop went bankrupt, and then they closed, and now I cannot use the, the lasers at tech shop to make things, so I'm scrambling. Like, I've, I've asked all the people I know, hey, does anyone have a laser I can use? And some people have been like, yeah, I got a laser you can use. And I'm like, man, I got the best friend. And I'm like, does it have a rotary attachment? And they're like, no. I'm like, oh, I need a rotary attachment, people. So I'm... I'm having to, I've got backups of plans of how I'm going to make things, and it's, it's, oh, it's getting, it's getting crazy. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to make all the things I want to make. I'm not sure if I know how to make all the things I'm going to make, but I'm going to work on it. Um, oh, what else have we got here? Uh, once again, I'm going to try and do scuba uh, on, on one of the stops. Last year, I wanted to do scuba, but I lost my wallet with my scuba card, so I couldn't do scuba. I was sad. This year... I'm going to try not to lose my wallet. That's another thing. You, you don't have to text me that. I already know not to lose my wallet. <sighs> Look, uh, I talked about tech shop closing already. Oh, I'll mention the other thing. Uh, so since tech shop did close, it occurred to me, I still need to make things, and Loretta still wants to make things. And we used to, we used to plan that we could go to tech shop and use their stuff to make things, but they're closed. So I, I have been forced to start buying more crap for my house so I can use it to make things. Uh, and I bought stuff, like Loretta had a birthday. I'm not gonna say what it was, but it was one of those birthdays that ends in zero that, that everyone commiserates about, uh, which is pretty much all of them, except for 10 and maybe 20. I think it is, I think it's all of them except for 10 and 20. Although again, once you get to like 80 and 90, suddenly people start being happy again. They'll be like, whoa, I made it to 80. Um, so like, like Loretta, I bought Loretta one of them computer embroidery machines because uh, she's wanted a computer embroidery machine forever. And I have always been like, I should get Loretta something and I never do. So I got her this thing, just like amazing technology uh, compared to, you know, 30 years ago. Typey, typey little screen, a little thing goes, and like, man, that's amazing. It's a chicken. You, 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 you embroidery picture, you put a picture of a chicken on a towel. It's a chicken towel, I guess. Uh, and for myself, uh, not for myself, for us, I also bought one of them, them cutter things. They can cut vinyl and stuff, because I always thought it'd be handy to have one of those. I had it at a tech shop, used it occasionally. Now I have one in my house. It's tiny, still works. <sighs> Life, life getting expensive. Okay, other other stuff. 
uh, that I've told people I talk about. Um, a while ago, it occurred to us uh, that we are terrible at cooking food for ourselves. Um, and we had a couple problems with cooking food for ourselves. First of all, there are two of us, and most recipes serve four. So we would like look up a recipe or buy food to make something, and then we would make it, and we would have twice as much food as we should eat. But I was raised as one of those, you need to eat the food you cooked, because starving children and don't waste food. Uh, so for many years, whenever we cooked, we would, we would just eat all of it. And that, that again, is why I need to jog more. Uh, so like a while ago, we were like, hey, now there are people that will send you dinner in a box. And then you can take the food out of the box, and then you can cook it for yourself, and we'll send you exactly as much food as you need. We'll send you like, like two carrots, and then you can chop the carrots and cook them. Now, philosophically, this seems terribly wrong to me, because you are... Someone somewhere is putting two carrots in a box along with a bunch of ice and they're giving that box to the Postal Service and the Postal Service is then transferring that box to us and it's sitting at our house and then we're taking it out of the box and then we're throwing the box away uh, and then we're putting the ice they gave us in a basket in the garage with all the other bags of ice, this icy gel stuff. If you need the icy gel stuff, I have a whole basket of it in my garage because again, I can't throw it away. I might need it someday. That's what I'm saying. Um, so we we decided to start like, hey, let's get the food boxes, and then we can like cook ourselves a healthy, happy meal like twice a week or three days a week, and then we'd get the food box, and then we would not get around to cooking the food before it started to go bad. So we we have turned which what used to be a problem, which was we would go to the supermarket and just buy a lot of ingredients, and then bring it home, and then it would go bad and we'd throw it away. Now, someone else assembles the ingredients, puts them in a box, sends them to us, and then they go bad, and then we throw them away. <laughs> um, it doesn't, when we manage to cook them, they're fine. Uh, it, it's, not, it's not the nice Hello Fresh people's fault. This is entirely our problem. Ah, what else? Uh, I think I talked, uh, I think I talked in December about how I was buying a PS4. No, I didn't, because, no, I talked in January. In January, I think I mentioned PS4. Uh, I did buy a PS4, because uh, I, I always wanted a PS4 after they announced it, and I never got around to it. So I bought one, and now, now occasionally, I get to sit in my living room and play video games on my TV, uh, and specifically, I've been playing this, like a, a long time ago, on the PS3, I played a game called Infamous, where you... You wandered around and you had electric zappy powers and you zappy people. And it, it was fun because you could just jump and you were kind of a, a badass because you could zappy people. I, I enjoyed the game a lot, but then I finished it and I was done. Now I have the PS4. They have like the third, I don't know, version of the game, third iteration of the game. So I decided to play that. Uh, same thing. You run around, not electricity. It's smoke, you can smoke zappy people, and then you can, it's crazy. I'm not going to give away the plot, um, but it's been very enjoyable sitting on my couch, kind of, you know, a little joystick, running around the city, zapping things, and bad guys, and such. Now, when I was, you know, 14, and I went to the arcade and put a quarter in, you know, I was, I was playing Space Invaders, I was going back and forth, but the graphics were minimal-ish. You know, mostly black and white, not terribly high resolution. By now, the graphics are practically photorealistic. Uh, and I, I am playing a, a crazy guy that can climb up 35-story buildings seemingly in 45 seconds. Just There's a point where I'm hanging off the edge of the Space Needle in Seattle, looking down like 40 stories. And momentarily, I'm like, ah, I'm going to fall. Um, and I'm terrified to fall, even though it's not really me, because I'm sitting on my couch, I got slippers on, and a bathrobe, and pajamas. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not a savage people. I'm just cold, so I got the robe on. There are times when I've, I, I've kind of enough into the game that when something bad happens to the character, 
It makes me feel bad about myself. So even though I am nigh invulnerable and can fall very, very far distances without being hurt at all, it is terrifying whenever it happens to me. Like I, I will jump off a building and plummet toward the ground knowing I'm gonna be fine, but then I'm like, ah, I gotta slow down. Uh, PS4, it's fun, uh, you should do it. Um, I was gonna talk about The Last Jedi, but there's some guy here that hasn't seen it, doesn't want any spoilers. Um, so I'm gonna give him a couple spoilers just to screw with him. He's not gonna know if I'm lying or not. Is the thing, he hasn't seen the movie. Uh, like he, he probably doesn't know that Luke dies. I mean, Luke, Luke totally died. Like the whole, like the second scene of the movie. You're like, wow, I'm glad there's some, that Luke Hamill guy, because I liked him from the fourth movie. And then he's just walking down the street and he gets hit by a speeder, driven by a Wookiee. It's crazy. It's crazy, people. Um, what else? Pokemon Go. Uh, we are still playing Pokemon Go. Uh, again, I don't know why we play Pokemon Go. I know why I play Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Go because Loretta plays Pokemon Go, and she enjoys it. And I like to see her, so I go play with her. Now, Pokemon Go, I think, is supposed to be aimed at little kids. I think it's supposed to be aimed at little kids. I think that was their first up. See, none of you could hear it, but there was a loud scream from the control room of a certain person who I'm in trouble with. Um, we, we play Pokemon Go, and when we get to one of these little raids, that'll be like, hey, there's something happening at this park in 35 minutes, and we'll go there. And there'll be a crowd of like 20 people, and they are all 20 years old, or 30 years old, or 40 years old, or 50 years old. Okay, there are no eight-year-olds when I'm going to these things. It's just if if that's who they were aiming at, they failed. Um, now, weirdly, some of the people that have shown up at this are people I used to work with who have retired. So I'll like get there, and I'll be like, "Hey, it's Barry. Uh, how are things, Barry?" And he'll be like, "Life is great." I'm like, what are you doing, Barry? You're like, well, I bake bread. I'm like, get a job, Barry. You know, get a get 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 a job is what I'm saying. Just go go back to work. Stop having an exciting life on Facebook and baking bread and doing what you want to do. I guess is <sighs> okay. Last topic. I don't have a lot of time left. Um, uh, I did mention it was uh, Loretta's uh, birthday, a big one, um, and to surprise her, her sisters flew out here from where they live, which is far away. Uh, and, and they surprised her. Uh, so there was a point when they leapt out and, and then she was like, ah, I'm surprised. Um, here's the weird thing when you're married to someone and you're trying to surprise them. You just have to plan to lie for months at a time about a lot of things. Like you just, there were just so many tiny, tiny things I had to lie about uh, or, or hey, me, we'll do this, that day. We're out of time, we're out of time. Uh, if you're gonna surprise someone, you either got to do, you have to decide to do it shortly before or be prepared to lie for a long time. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we'll see you in March. I'll uh, probably be talking about my time on a boat. Uh, so you got that to look forward to. Okay, we're done. I don't even minute for credit, right? Look, I'm open my watch. It's 9.37. Ooh.